uh, can the septic tank be uphill from the house? And the answer is yes. Um, it's not typical, but what is typical, what this question made me think of is there are a lot of times where you've got a bathroom in the basement, a lot of, you know, especially the finished basement, you may have a bathroom, you may have laundry. Um, and a lot of times, if it's, uh, if it's not a walkout basement, you've got to get that water to go up to the first story so that it can gravity flow out to the, to the septic tank. Um, and what you'll find is that a, a basement ejector pump was installed. So this looks oh, just about identical to a sump pump. But you'll have, you know, it's usually going to be located in a uh, utility room or, a, you know, a boiler room, your, you know, your, where your furnace is located. You, you typically, typically going to be in, in that same general area. And, you know, the bathroom, uh, laundry, what, you know, whatever's coming to it is going to call, come into this basin that's down in, in the ground um, of the basement. And there's a pump inside, and it'll actually grind up all the solids and it pushes it up um, there's a check valve so when it sh pumps it away shuts off it stops it all from running back because there's it, it's it's usually going to be a you know 8 to 12 foot push vertically and then it, it just pushes it up into um, your your plumbing at ground level and then it can gravity flow from there out to the septic tank so you're not typically going to find where the the septic, septic tank is above the house completely. I've never come across it personally, but the, the only thing I can think of is is a possibility that you got an old, you know, real old house that didn't, you know, before before septic systems were installed, and it's down in some low area, and the, the, you just could get a septic tank down to it. Um, what what could be installed uh, would be something similar to what is used for. Uh, a municipal sewer system that is uh, not gravity fed it's it's pumped up to it so there's a uh, big crock outside the house um, with the pump down inside and so all of the house would still flow by gravity out to this crock uh, usually holds about 70 gallons of water it's got a grinder pump in it and um, that pump um, would probably that would get pumped up to a septic tank up top and then flow out gravity from there um, to a drain field so that that would be very rare it would be a cool situation to come across um, but um, typically tanks gonna be just below ground level so everything can gravity flow from there but you'll find that the uh, the basement is getting pumped up to that to that ground level um, it's always a good idea with those uh, basement ejector pumps. Uh, it it always seems that you're going to have a problem with those only when you've got guests over and they're using that facility. A lot of times we'll see you know it's just a guest bedroom or it's you know it's a they use it as an office and there's a bathroom down there or something like that and um, they'll have guests over and they haven't used that pump and, and who knows how long and now all of a sudden they they've got they've got family or friends over staying for the weekend and um, somebody takes a shower or flushes the toilet and it starts flowing back in the bathroom on them use your facilities um, even if it's just going down and, and flushing the toilet a few times it doesn't I mean it doesn't have to be a daily thing but once a week once every other week or so just flush the toilet a few times and to, you know enough to make the the pump kick on and let it run through its cycle um, it it's a mechanical item it's meant to be used so if it if it's never used well, number one it may just fail because of old age and not being used um, number two, at least you'll know before you're in that situation where you've got people over in your house and, and you're scrambling because the plumbing's backing up on them.
you know, nobody wants to deal with that. So at least you'll know if you have a problem and you can you can take care of that. Um, as long as it's set up properly, it's not a huge deal to replace. Um, there's usually not any wiring or anything that takes that, that takes place so that it just gets plugged into the wall. Um, it's got a little float on the side of the switch that as the water fills up in that, that little um, crock, it tells the pump to kick on and it'll pump away. As the water level goes down when it's pumping, it tells it to shut off. Um, so, but that's that's always a good idea. Just just use it. At least make sure it's working. That way, it doesn't become a surprise for you um, down the road.